we decided we would go to the state that had the most egregious discriminatory laws against the LGBT community. You can try to take the KY from Kentucky. Though I doubt that you We're traveling with 300 people. Out of the 300, there are probably 10 who had an easy coming out experience. You can't have a conversation about LGBT equality, about trans issues, without it intersecting with faith. A lot of times in more conservative places like the South, for example, this sort of thing can instill hope in people who do not have that. But I see your truth. I was the associate minister of music of the First Baptist Church of Houston, and I came out. And the Baptist Church spared no expense in ruining my life. I think it dawned on all of us that they were mounting a revolution from that little church. We're continually mounting a revolution. From sitting in the Brown AME Chapel and being able to just lift our voices to that moment where we solemnly and reverently crossed the bridge, raising the gay flag, I'd never seen that. My mama, were she still alive, she would be so proud that I brought my choir down here to bring the special music. Each of those people have experienced difficulty in coming out, in being gay, in being bullied, in being different, in being other. Every one of them wants to make a difference for someone that they meet along this journey.